I'm Captain Majid Ibrahim, the commanding officer of Nigerian Navy ship Okwabana. And NS Okwabana is one of the recent acquisitions from the United States of America to the Nigerian Navy fleet in tandem with the federal government effort to build a robust and efficient fleet. The name Okwabana means thunder in Igala dialect. And NS Okwabana is a frigate class vessel with an overall length of 115.6 meters width of 12.8 meters and a height which spans 34.5 meters. The ship has facilities to accommodate over 180 personnel. Presently the complement is 158 personnel comprising 45 officers and 113 ratings. We shall be viewing the life of a naval personnel on board using NNS Okwabana as a case study with insight in the daily harbor routine, sea routine, and some evolution and exercise, which are carried out both at sea and in harbor. This is in an effort to contribute to the Navy drive and training. You are welcome on board. The Nigerian Navy, like every military force, is an organized institution with well-structured and planned timetables to guide normal daily life and activities on board ships. The timetables are known as routines. The general activities carried out on a ship varies in harbor or at sea. Hence, there are generally two types of ship's routines, harbor routine and sea routine. Harbor routine is further categorized into daily harbor routine and Sunday routine. Whatever routine to be observed by the ship on a particular day is usually communicated to the ship's company before that day. In addition, in the course of observing the routine for the day, pipes are made and broadcasted around the ship to indicate whatever activity to be carried out at a particular time. The routines observed on board and in the ships will be highlighted one after the other beginning with daily harbor routine. Daily harbor routine. Daily harbor routine is the routine observed on board Nigerian Navy ships on working days. Call the hands, wake up or awakey. Call your hands, call your hands, call your hands. Awakey, awakey, awakey. Rise up and shine, square up your bones, lash up and do. A working day on board Nigerian Navy ship begin at 0600 with the sounding of the wake-up pipe, also known as call the hands or away key. At this time, personnel on board are to wake up, rise up, square up their bunks, beds, clean up their living spaces and freshen up for the day. Master of Men Under Punishment Men under punishment as the of need must Men under punishment as the of need must At about 0610, while personnel are squaring up and freshening up, men under punishment are to muster. The officer on duty is to conduct a head count of the men when they muster in order to confirm they are all on board. Furthermore, the officer on duty is at liberty to deploy the men under punishment for any detail whatsoever especially for clean ship. Breakfast. And breakfast. And breakfast and tea. Personnel have their first meal for the day, which is breakfast from 0700. Prior to this time, duty mess stewards are expected to have prepared the places designated for breakfast on board. Officers have their breakfast in the ward room, senior rates have theirs in their mess, while junior rates have theirs in junior rates dining hall or any other place designated. Expiration of liberty. In the mornings, liberty expires for men that were allowed to sleep ashore at particular times. These times are defined by command of the ship. On some ships, for example, it expires for junior rates at 0715. 
for senior rates at 0720 and for officers at 0725. Colors. Then Minister Colors, Color Party Master. Then Minister Colors, Color Party Master. Five minutes to colors, color party closer. Five minutes to colors, color party closer. Only sir. Only my Five minutes to colors, sir. In the Nigerian Navy, the ceremony of color is conducted at 0800 by the Colo Party. It involves hoisting of the national flag and ensign. Attention of that base ensign a salute. In preparation for the ceremony, Colo Party is to muster at 0750 and then close up at 0755. At 0759, a minute to colors, the entire ship is allotted. Both watches of the hands muster. This is the first general muster of the day. It is attended by personnel of all departments, with the exception of personnel on duty and those on the ship's special duty, excused list. The purpose of this muster is to confirm that old personnel are on board for the day's work. It is also used as an avenue to pass general information on directives to the entire ship's company. Furthermore, a selected section of the Armed Forces Act is read during this muster on Mondays. This is meant to serve as a reminder to the ship's company to guide their conduct and improve their awareness as to the provisions in the Act. Immediately after boat watches, the ship's company breaks up into various departments for the day's work. As they break into individual departments, each department organizes its own department morning brief, during which directives, instructions for the day's work are passed. Handed and taken over by duty watch. While work for the day starts after the dismissal of both watches with the department briefs, Duty watch of all branches for the day and the previous day muster at about 0845. This muster is to allow for proper handling and taking over between the duty watch of the previous day and that of the present day. The duty watch for the present day is then expected to take over and commence its duty by 0900. Lectures and drills. The need to improve the proficiency and efficiency of personnel led to the continuous training and retraining of personnel through the conduct of lectures and drills on board. Though not a core part of any of the routines observed in the NN, lectures and drills are usually conducted on working days as part of daily harbor routines. Depending on work exigencies, ships are at liberty to determine when and how many times they conduct lectures and drills on board. Stand easy. Stand easy. Stand easy. The period from 1000 to 1030 every working day is set aside for personnel to take a break from work and relax themselves. During this period, personnel are provided with some light refreshments. Divisional hour. On Wednesdays, an hour is usually set aside for ratings of every division to have opportunities to rub mines with their divisional officers. This is usually held between 1100 and 1200. During the session, ratings are counseled and advised by their divisional officers and are also opportune to air their welfare problems for possible solutions. Furthermore, the ratings are given the chance to suggest possible ways of ensuring the efficiency of the division. Of the division. On Fridays between 1200 and 1300,
every hour is observed on board Niger Navy ships. This is the only period set aside for religious activities on board. Christians and Muslims masters their respective designated spaces and have their religious sessions. Thereafter, Muslims proceed to the nearest mosque ashore for Jumat service. Dinner. The second meal, also known as dinner on a normal working day, is served from 1300 to 1400. Just like breakfast, personnel have their meals at their designated messes and dining areas. On Wednesdays, dinner is served from 1200 to 1300 to allow personnel to take part in sports. Sports. Personnel are encouraged to take up daily routine sporting activities in order to keep fit and stay healthy. Most modern ships are fitted with gym and or sporting equipment which are made available for use before and after working hours. Also, an organized ship sports is done on Wednesdays for the ship's company. Secure. Secure. Return gears. Liberty men to clean. Secure. Return gears. Liberty men to clean. On board Nigerian Navy ships, work officially closes at 1345. At this time, personnel are expected to secure all working gears as well as their places of work. Thereafter, they are supposed to clean up and dress up in the rig for the day in preparation to proceed ashore on liberty. Evening quarters. And falling for evening quarters. And falling for evening quarters. Before personnel proceed on liberty, they are to muster. This muster is known as evening quarters. At this muster, any directive or information as regards work for the next day is passed to the ship's company. Firefighting exercise. For exercise, for exercise, for exercise. Fire, fire, fire. Duty watch of four branches, must fly there for firefighting exercise. For exercise, for exercise, for exercise. Fire, fire, fire. Duty watch of four branches, must fly there for firefighting exercise. Incidents of fire is one of the most common accidents on board. Those personnel have frequently been enlightened on the dangers of fire and concept of fighting fire. During daily harbour routine, firefighting exercise is organised for members of duty watch at 1200 for Sunday's routine and 1700 for daily harbour routine by the officer on duty. Supper. Hands to supper. Hands to supper. In the Navy, the word supper refers to dinner meal, mostly served by 1800. The quartermaster makes a general pipe and verbal order. Hands to supper. Unexpectedly, personnel proceed to their various messes for the meal. Sunset. Ten minutes to sunset. Sunset party, monster. Ten minutes to sunset. Sunset party, monster. The ceremony of sunset is carried out at predetermined time provided by navigation department. The sunset party is stationed at convenient positions by five minutes to sunset time. Five minutes to sunset. Sunset party, close up. Five minutes to sunset. Sunset party, close up. It involves the lowering of the national flag and the navy ensign at their respective staffs at the predetermined sunset time. The sunset party comprises two ratings at the staffs, quartermasters, bugler, duty chief, OOD, and the commanding officer or executive officer, first lieutenant. Cleaning and squaring up of mess decks and flats. Do 
Beauty Watch, Men Under Punishment and Stoppage of Leaf, Monster, Clear All Men's Deck and Flash for Round, Duty Watch. Duty Watch, Men Under Punishment and Stoppage of Leaf, Monster, Clear All Men's Deck and Flash for Round, Duty Watch. From 2000 to 2100 on a working day, the duty watch of the day as well as men on their punishment clean up all messed decks and flats in preparation for rounds. Messed deck rounds. Whoa! Mess deck rounds is one of the most important routine carried out in all naval ships, units, formations, establishment and commands. Mess deck rounds is conducted at 2100 during the weekdays routine and 2000 during Sunday's routine. Mess deck rounds party comprising basically the quartermaster, duty chief and the officer on duty master at a designated position at about 10 minutes to the hour as well as other members of duty watch not physically in watch. On the hour, the mess deck rounds party goes round the ship with quartermaster making a specific pipe to alert any person in the vicinity of the routine. It is customary that anyone in sight of the mess deck round party at a reasonable close distance is to come to attention position and stand still till the party pass and clear from the place. It is conducted to ensure that equipment, instrument, offices, living spaces, workshops, machineries and any other things of interest as well as the personnel manning them are in good state. Pipe down. Pipe down signifies the end of the day's activities and resting time commences. The quartermaster makes a specific pipe without verbal order at 2200 for weekdays routine and 2230 for Sunday's routine. The exposed lightings on board ships and within spaces are darkened or switched off except for the obstruction lights at the top mast of the ship. The use of both swains call for piping and sound reproduction equipment SREs is available. Seas. Personnel not on duty are expected to be within their living spaces resting, hence little or no disturbance is ensured. While members of the duty watch maintains the general security and safety of the ship throughout the night, also the officer on duty ensures maximum silence on board. Thus, this period is often referred to as silent hours. However, emergency situations in the night like fire outbreak on board, hostile attack or any similar situations might break the silence imposed. The pipe down ends with pipe of a wiki, calling the hands. Security rounds. Security rounds is a continuous check on machineries, equipment, and materials at regular intervals to ensure their functional and operational states are intact. This is carried out by members of duty watch at designated intervals or any other time as ordered by the OOD. The OOD is saddled with the responsibilities of ensuring the safety of the ship, men and her equipment, hence the report of the security rounds and other incidences are forwarded to the commanding officer at the end of the duty. Sunday routine Having highlighted the various activities carried out on a working day as part of daily herbal routine on board NN ships, next is Sunday routine. Sunday routine is the routine observed on non-working days. Non-working days may mostly include Saturdays, Sundays and public holidays. It is important to note that due to service exigencies, some Saturdays, Sundays and public holidays may be declared as working days and daily harbour routine observed accordingly. All activities carried out during Sunday routine are carried out during daily harbour routine and have already been highlighted in this documentary. However, timings vary for some activities. Here are the rundown of activities carried out during Sunday routine and their timings.
Proceeding to sea, a sailing order will be given by the sailing authority, usually flag officer commanding, and is followed by hoisting of flag purple to signify the ship is under sailing order. Special sea duty, men close up. Do we hear that? Do we hear that? Do we hear that? Special sea duty men, close up. SSD men, close up. Azun MBCD State 2 Condition Yankee. Azun MBCD State 2 Condition Yankee. All hands, most are part of ship for living harbor. All hands, part of ship for living harbor. This is a standing party of men closed up at various navigational and control stations in preparation for leaving and entering harbor as well as in restricted visibilities. SSD men are closed or secured up on the authority of the XO and a particular NBCD state is to be assumed when entering a living harbor. HODs see readiness brief. This is a brief made by the XO and various departmental heads to the CO prior to sailing. It is done 10 minutes after SSD men are closed up stating the level of preparedness and also highlighting likely hitches to hamper the sea trip. Cast off. This is the synchronized movement of a ship from her berth or anchorage prior to cast off. All machinery controls are transferred to the bridge, wheelhouse and tested. On confirmation of the controls, the commanding officer gives the sequence of singling up and letting go the ropes while the executive officer coordinates the evolution with the foxhole, shipside and quarterdeck officers depending on the size of the ship. Large ships may require tugboats to cast off or come alongside for easy maneuver and safety. Handing and taking over watches. These are reports made by the helmsman, both port and starboard lookout. Telegraphs man of a preceding watch to the next watch on the state of machineries and navigational aids in use. The report made also involves the current situation or any instruction for the next watch. Starboard lookout. Bridge. Starboard lookout of afternoon watch close up. No object in sight. Vernacular proof current. AB Emmanuel report is sir. Very good. Close up. Aye, aye, sir. No. Look out duties. These are reports of contacts made by lookouts from ahead to a beam of the respective sides, port and starboard of the ship stating the following object, bearing, aspect crossing or overtaking, as well as distance. In addition, an earlier report can be amplified stating more details of the contact, such as the type of vessel and the updated bearing relative to the ship. Hoisting and lowering of boats. In lowering a boat, the petty officer and lowering party will be in overcharge. The boat crew will be supervised as directed by him. When the boat is manned at the David head, the crew that they are in a correct rig. They cast the lifelines outboard of the boat and man them. When the boat is at jack level, 
check that there is no one near the boat propeller and start the engine in neutral. The boat is then lowered into the water. When the weight is off the fall, the petty officer will order, unhook the falls. They unhook the offer fall and then order the bowman to unhook the forward fall. When both falls are unhooked, you report to the petty officer. Unhook the board. The petty officer order the bowman. Let's go forward. When he has done this, you chut in the engine to lead and steer the boat from the ship. Hoisting. In preparation for the bowman shoot, the forward slings and out after ships are currently rigged and fire from tons. Pump out any water this may be in the bowls. Mono basic the boat under the falls. A lead rope and stand fast will then be passed down and are secured in the board. Petty officer of the hoisting party then orders. Hook on board's falls. The falls will be hooked. The report to the petty officer. Hooked on in the board. The boat is then hoisted to the David lead. The David then travels to its stout postern. Modern frigates usually has the capacity to carry helicopters. The helicopters are deployed for roles such as patrols at sea, medical and casualty evacuation, search and rescue, firefighting, VIP airlift. Welcome to the Hello Tech of NNS of Wabana. We are making all necessary preparations to receive one of the Nigerian Navy helicopters for exercise of Bangama Express. Um, just a little walk around. This is the, the hangar. We have the Trident team, the firefighting team in red. This is the Hello Deck. The protective uh, baskets and guardrails have been collapsed. Preparatory to receive the helicopter. The Nigerian Navy also carries out joint exercises with the Nigerian Air Force. This was captured during the Obangame Express 2015 when the Nigerian Air Force Maritime Patrol aircraft ATR 42 was patrolling the exercise area, thereby giving the Nigerian Navy an extended maritime cover of the exercise area. Man aloft, man aloft, man aloft. There should be no transmission of any kind upper deck, man aloft. Man aloft, man aloft, man aloft. There should be no transmission of any kind upper deck, man aloft. Man aloft in an evolution carries out at harbor to work at the upper deck or the mast. In carrying such evolution, personnel doing must be properly rigged and saving equipment. It will be followed with a pipe, man aloft, man aloft man aloft there should be no transmission of any kind upper deck man aloft the pipe is to engine the man working is free any electronic that may occur during the process fueling fueling is an evolution that is carried out both in harbor or at sea it is followed with a general pipe and announcement fueling in progress during the process, a red flag, flag bravo, is hoisted to indicate that fueling is in progress so that personnel will not bring any naked light close to the ship. Diving Diving in progress, diving in progress, diving in progress. There should be no underwater transmission of any kind, diving in progress. Diving in progress, diving in progress, diving in progress. There should be no underwater transmission of any kind, diving in progress. Diving is an underwater operation done in harbor or at sea to check for any unwanted material at the keel of the ship or sea chest. Diving in progress, general pipe will be made followed by an announcement, diving in progress. That is to ensure that no underwater transmission is made within the period to avoid underwater electrocution of personnel carrying out the operation. Clear lower deck. When the quartermaster is ordered to pipe, clear the lower deck. He makes a general pipe and verbal order. 
Do you hear dear? Do you hear dear? Do you hear dear? Clear lower deck. Clear lower deck. All hands, master fly deck. All hands, fly deck. As such, this calls all men of all branches except those actually on watch and completely disrupts the work of the ship. Personnel are to move swiftly to the specified position and await the instructions to follow. It is mostly done on emergency situations, impromptu information from administrative authorities on scheduled evolutions like muster by open list or any other situations as deemed necessary by the commanding officer. Parade! Ah, Parade is one of the major high points of most military ceremonies. As such, Navy Parade is unique and important in most naval ceremonies. The type of parade depends on the nature of event being organized. However, a typical Navy Parade comprises the Parade Commander, Guard Commander, Division Commanders, Parade Gunner, Guards and Band, Armed Guard and Chief Gunnery Instructors. Cast of drill is a major evolution on board ships as it concerns the procedures of leaving harbor before proceeding to sea. The pipe for special sea duty, SSD men to close up, be made first and expectedly personnel move to their respective positions in the proper rig for the evolution. The executive officer XO coordinates the proceedings for cast off and also ensures the safety of the men throughout the evolution. The XO designates at least two officers, forecastle, forecastle, and quarter deck officer, who directly oversee activities at the forecastle and quarter deck respectively, and report back to him accordingly. On completion of the cast off, the SSD men secure from their respective positions and sea routine is immediately enforced. Fire drill. In addition to the regular firefighting exercises organized by the officer on duty for the duty watch on Sunday's routine at 1200 and weekday's routine at 1700, firefighting drills are also organized on board for the entire ship's company. It is organized by the executive officer, safety officer, and the marine engineering officer, action safety officer. The ship's company is divided into various repair local parties, RLP. Each repair local party is basically comprised of repair local party leader, attack team, support team, and containment boundary men team. Also, there is a damage control assistant, DCA, who is responsible to the action safety officer and coordinates the various RLPs in the fire drills evolution. Machinery spaces and living space fire drills are the most common done on board. Flooding drill. Flooding is the unusual water ingress or entrance into a compartment where it causes severe damage or danger. Flooding drills are carried on board because as the ship sails on water, there are possibilities of flooding, which may be due to defect on the outer hull below the water line, tear from grounding or enemy hit. Hence, watertight integrity is enforced in areas below the waterline at all times. The DCA still maintains the coordination of the RLPs for the flooding drills, while the safety officer and the action safety officer supervise the entire drills. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship is an emergency evolution which is the last resort when an incident like extensive fire outbreak or enemy hit occurs on board and is beyond the control and the capacity of the ship's company and the commanding officer. Ship's company will be mustered at a designated emergency station and then addressed by the CEO and thereafter proceed to their life raft station as stipulated in the watch and station bill. It is expected that personnel are to proceed into the life raft with their ID card, dry ration, touch light blanket and filled water bottle man and chair ship 
Manachia ship is a ceremony organized on board whereby the ship's company are positioned round the exposed areas of the ship facing outward at intervals. The ship's company remove their caps and chair at order of the commanding officer or any other as designated by the command. It is done to pay respect to a very senior officer or a VIP ashore but in sight or a ship born with a very senior officer or a VIP. Commissioning ceremony. On the acquisition of a man of war, she is usually commissioned to service by the president or his representative before the ship is deployed. Mark of respect between ships. Uh. It is customary in the Navy for ships to show respect when passing each other. The junior ship pipes till, which is acknowledged by the senior ship. The senior ship then pipes canyon before the junior ship does the same. Small arms firing exercise. This evolution is carried out to improve the weapon handling proficiency of the personnel on board. The Nigerian Navy is saddled with the responsibilities of providing security within the territorial waters of Nigeria and the Gulf of Guinea.